Hey, I'm Jay from Wilcox, and today we're gonna to talk about the Wilcox Boss XE, the ballistically optimized sighting system. The Boss XE is the ideal sighting system. It's compact and features visible and infrared lasers, adjustable reticle, and unique dual trajectory switch that provides end users unprecedented versatility, allowing them to adapt to different scenarios. The unit's gonna come boxed up in a slipcase cover, and it's going to feature this hologram to let you know it's an authentic Wilcox product. All right, let's take a closer look and see what's inside. Right out of the box, we have the product card, which gives an overview of the Boss XE. Following that, we have the cleaning and maintenance kit. And then finally, in the carrying pouch, we have the Boss XE itself. All right, so opening up the maintenance kit, first up is gonna be the lens cleaning cloth, as well as the tools that are gonna to allow you to swap out the blue lockout screw and the Wilcox junction box. Following that is going to be the lens cleaning brush. The Boss ships in its carrying pouch, sealed with a tag that includes the serial number of the unit inside. Included in the carrying pouch is going to be the Boss XE with its protective lens cover, the remote, the maintenance toothbrush, the mounting kit, as well as the replacement block for the Wilcox Junction Box. Now let's dive into some of the features of the Boss XE. Designed for a short-barreled rifle where rail space is at a premium, the Boss XE features a reflex sight with an integrated laser optical bench. Should your power fail in the unit, you have your backup iron sight that's fully integrated into the housing of the unit itself. The Boss XE features a visible aiming laser, an infrared aiming laser, an infrared illuminator, and an infrared room illuminator. This room illuminator is specially designed to mitigate bloom when looking through night vision devices. One of the most unique features of the Boss XE is the trajectory switch. The trajectory switch is going to allow you to adjust your reticle as you shift from different ammunition types. For instance, if you're firing supersonic ammunition and then you shift to subsonic, you can adjust the reticle by flipping the trajectory switch. This is going to account for the drop of the bullet. As the Boss XE is designed to accommodate any shooter, the reticle is fully customizable. This is going to allow you to adjust the cant indicator, the brightness, as well as the pattern of the reticle itself. The default reticle for the Boss XE is going to be the dot in the circle. It can also be adjusted to a dot within brackets, just a dot, or just the circle. When enabled, the cant indicator will blink to alert you if you're off cant. This is a feature that can be disabled depending on user preference. Now we're gonna go over some of the functions of the Boss XE. To customize the reticle of the Boss, the first thing that we're going to do is set the selector switch to reticle configuration. That's going to be oriented one click down. Once we've done that, we're gonna be able to toggle not only the brightness, but the different reticle patterns. The reticle patterns are going to be dictated by the center button, and then the brightness is going to be adjusted with the left and right. As we adjust the brightness, one thing that we're going to keep in mind is that we can downtune the brightness as low as possible to where it's barely perceptible. This barely perceptible reticle setting is going to allow us to view the reticle through our night vision device without blooming out the nods. To disable the cant indicator, hold the center and right button down until the reticle stops flashing. Once we've scrolled through the four patterns of the reticle to find out what works best for us, the selector switch is going to enable the operator to toggle between visible, and infrared high and low power modes. As the selector switch is rotated up, it's going to start in low power. The first setting is going to be infrared low power. This is going to enable the infrared pointing laser. In order to activate the laser, simply press the center button. If you want the laser to persist, double tap the center button. And if you want to disengage your laser, just tap again. After the infrared pointing laser is selected, next up, it'll be the dual low power mode. The dual mode in low power is going to enable the infrared aiming laser along with the IR illuminator. To use the IR room illuminator, cycle to the bottom of the power steps, then press the button one more time. After the low power mode, there's high power. High power is going to feature the high powered aiming laser. Following that, 
there's the dual high power mode which is going to enable the high powered aiming laser as well as the distance illuminator. The visible laser can also be set to high or low power, controlled by a blue lockout screw for eye safe operation. Wilcox is constantly incorporating end user feedback into the development of our products. One of the most recent changes to the Boss XE has been relocating the room illuminator. It's been placed up higher into the optical bench so as to not be obstructed by an operator's grip or the rail itself. Another recent redesign of the Boss XE has been to assign numbers to the different elevation adjustments that correspond to the trajectory switch. This allows for easy zero adjustment as well as reticle assignment. And the final revision to the Boss XE has been the incorporation of the Wilcox junction box and the Ergocto three button pressure pad. The repositioned pressure pad interface extends control of the buttons for the unit to a more ergonomic location for the shooter. In addition to that, you can swap out the three button pressure pad for either a blank to roll without a remote or a legacy connector if you have another preference for a pressure pad. The Boss XE is going to use a CR123 in the side mounted battery compartment. The side mounted battery compartment allows ease of exchange of batteries without the rail interfering in the operation. On the rear of the unit is the battery light indicator. The battery light indicator is going to flash if you have a low battery, but it's also going to tell you that the unit is in operation. If the unit is in operation, you'll see a green light. This will allow you to monitor safe operation. Forward of the rail grabbers on the bottom of the unit is going to be the battery for the internal memory. The internal memory is going to be vital for applications that are still in development. The Boss XE also has Bluetooth capabilities. With the unit turned off, what you're going to do is press and hold the center button and then rotate your selector switch down to reticle configuration. Once you've done so, the rear of the unit is going to blink blue. To restore the factory defaults of the unit, simultaneously press and hold the center and left button while turning on the boss. Then release the buttons once the device is activated. This will reset the reticle shape, brightness, and all laser steps, but will not reset the Bluetooth on and off setting. Now we're going to talk about the mounting procedures for the Boss XE on our 300 Blackout SIG Rattler. The first thing we're going to do is mount our 3X magnifier. So for this, we have the Wilcox flip mount, which we're going to select our space to provide appropriate eye relief on the pick rail at the 12 o'clock position. Once we screw this on hand tight, then we can take our three times magnifier, make sure that it's seated properly, and then slid forward. The tabs in the back are going to indicate that it's locked once they raise after it's been slid forward. You can test it just by flipping the mount to the side. Now we're going to mount the Boss XE. When we mount the Boss XE, we're going to slide it just ahead of our 3X magnifier, and then we're going to tighten the thumb screws down. When we tighten them down, they're going to be 30 inch pounds. Once we have the Boss XE torqued appropriately, now we're going to manage our pressure pad and cable. Included with the Boss XE is the Picatinny rail adapter. This is going to allow you to easily mount the Ergocto three button pressure pad. All right, so with the components here, we have the arms for the Picatinny rail adapter, Picatinny rail adapter, the two screws, and then the included wrench to tighten down the screws. First thing I'm going to do is set up the arms on this Picatinny rail on the Rattler. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a screw and I'm going to seat it onto the wrench that's included in the pack out. And then I'll take the rail adapter and fit it so that the blocks at the top of the arms go right into the rail adapter. And then I'm gonna make sure that screw's seated in and I'll tighten it down. When you're tightening this piece onto the rifle itself, Make sure you don't over tighten. We just want to go a little bit more than hand tight, but we don't want to strip out that screw. Once the rail adapter has been set up, we're going to take our three button pressure pad. And you'll notice that on the rail adapter itself, it's got a series of tracks on either side of it that line up with the base of the pressure pad. The base of the pressure pad is just going to slide into it and lock in place like that. 
After you've got it locked in place, then you're free to use the included zip ties for cable management, however you prefer. Now that we've mounted the magnifier, the Boss XE, and the pressure pad, we're ready to go. In an upcoming video, we're going to cover the full zero procedure for the Boss XE on the SIG Rattler. With this video, we'll demonstrate the simplicity and effectiveness of the trajectory switch when alternating between supersonic and subsonic ammunition. The Boss XE is a highly customizable, adaptable sighting system incorporating the room illuminator as well as the trajectory switch to allow you to adjust your reticle on the fly. The Boss XE is the dynamic sighting system for any short-barreled rifle or close quarter situation. For more information about the Boss XE, current and future Wilcox products, be sure and check the links below, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned.